A and B are real numbers and root square root of A plus B equal to 85 and A minus square root of B is 7. Find the value of A and B. For solving this problem, I rewrite the equations and okay, square root of A plus B equal to 85. A minus square root of B equal to 7. So, yes, we prefer, when we see square root, we have two ideas. One way is to raise to the power of 2 or take B to right side, take to the power of 2. Or one way is to consider a new variable, changing variable. Consider this X and this Y. So, I consider X equal to root A and Y equal to root B. And we can say, we should say x and y are greater than or equal to zero. So a is x squared and b will be y squared if you raise to the power of two. Now, if we rewrite these two equations, then we have x plus y squared equal to 85. And the next one, x squared minus y equal to seven. Now we have two equations, two variables. One important way when we see non-routine two equations two variables most important and powerful idea is using replacements so let's apply replacements we say from this one x squared take seven to left hand side negative seven equal to or negative y to right hand side y and if we replace y with x squared minus 7 in first equation, x plus x squared minus 7, replace y with x squared minus 7 squared equal to 85. For calculating this, I should tell you the identity that you should memorize. a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, if we use this, x first x we have x plus now this identity x squared x squared minus 2 times x squared times 7 plus 7 squared which is 85 now the first one is x x squared squared is 4 minus 14 x squared plus 49 equal to 85 now here, if I want to write this equation from in, in decreasing order of the power next to the 4, I consider next one x squared minus 14x squared plus x here. Now, 49, if you take it to the left-hand side, minus 85 is minus 36 equal to 0. Now we should focus on this equation. Okay. When this equation we have, when we see an equation, the degree is greater than two. One of the most useful way that you should check is to find one uh, integer root. For example, if you check one, one plus one, two, it doesn't work. If you check two, it doesn't work. Three, 81 plus three, 84. It doesn't work. If we check 4, it works. If x is 4, we will see that. 4 to the 4. Minus 14 times 4 squared. Plus 4 minus 36. We want to see is it 0 or not. For checking this, I divide both sides by 4. It will be, it is equivalent. I divide by 4. 4 cubed minus 14 times 4 squared will be 4. Plus 1 minus 9. Y it is equal to 0. So 64 minus 14 times 4, which will be 56, plus 1 minus 9 will be minus 8, equal to 0, minus 64. So it is 0 and it's okay. So x4 is 1 root. Okay. So when x4 is a root, one factor you can factorize is x minus 4. And this is so much important and useful rule, x minus 4. Now I want to create this. I want to create x to the 4, so I place x cubed. It will be x to the 4 minus 4 x cubed. And then I don't have x cubed here, so I should cancel this. I place 4 x squared. It will be 4 x cubed minus 16 x squared. It will be canceled. Now I want to reach negative 14 x squared. 
So I should place plus 2x. It will be plus 2x squared minus 8x. So here we created also this. We want to reach x. We have negative a, 8x. So I want to reach x. I need 9x plus 9. And it will be exactly the thing we want. Now we should check two parts. It is 0 or it is 0. The first one is 0, x minus 4 is 0, so we conclude x is 4, and because of this, y equal to x squared minus 4, which is 4 squared minus 7, 16 minus 7, which will be 9. So, x4, y9. And what can we say about a? a is x squared, b is y squared, so a will be 16, and b will be 81. We check. Root 16 will be 4, b plus 81, it will be 85. The first equation will be okay. For second one, 16 minus square root of 81, which is 9, will be 7. So, it is our first answer. Now, we should consider this case, that x cubed plus 4x plus 2, 4x squared plus 2x plus 9 equal to 0. Now, we can say, okay, it is equal to 0. And we know x is at least 0, so it is at least 0, at least 0, at least 0, and it is positive. So it is positive the whole term. So the only answer is this. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. You can use my other videos to improve your problem solving. Thanks, bye.